His Excellency Mr. Majid Al Mesmar, Chairman of the Conference, His Excellency Hu Lin Zhao, ITU Secretary General, Mr. Malcolm, uh, jo Malcolm Johnson, Deputy General Secretary, Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to express our sincere congratulations to His Excellency Hu Lin Zhao and Mr. Malcolm Johnson for, uh, on your re-election. We are confident that ITU will be in good hands. And thank you to Mr. Brahima Sanu and Mr. Francois Ramsey for all your contribution to ITU and Cambodia as well. On behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia, let me greet the participants of the ITU Planet Planetary Conference and to express our sincere gratitude to the Government of the United Arab Emirates for hosting this conference with warm receptions in the beautiful city of Dubai. Also allow me to express our gratitude to the Secretary General, His Excellency Hu Lin Zhao, and the ITU elected official for successfully organizing this event and for the hard work they have done in the past four years, spearheading and implementing the union resolution toward connected 2020 goals. We understand that according to the finding by ITU, that every 10% increase in broadband penetration will result in 0.9 to 1.5% per capita GDP growth. Cambodia has one of the highest mobile penetration and most affordable price in the world uh, with 4G capability and is now looking at 5G for the next phase of development. Cambodia has come a long way to where we are today. Ever since our civil war ended in January 1979, Cambodia did not achieve real peace and stability until 1998, which in the last 20 years, our country has been growing at an average rate of 7% of GDP. And it's projected to continue growing at 7% in the foreseeable future. This made Cambodia one of the fastest growing economy in Asia. In the recent general election in Cambodia, the result has shown that the country is more united than ever in our past 500 years histories. And the government, and the government is focusing on and speeding up the development of the country with strong focus on quality of growth in all sectors. We believe that technology will play a very critical role that will cut across all sectors from e-government to e-commerce, to e-people. Ultimately, all this new technology from the Industry 4.0 will help empower its citizens to be more productive, more sustainable, and better quality of life. Better quality, better quality of life doesn't mean more. We believe that these are three very important indicators that should be used to measure our success in this era. In recent years, Every country is uh, very excited about the possibility of what digital economy and the fourth industrial revolution can bring. The endless possibility of artificial intelligence, biotechnology, internet of things, big data, cryptocurrency, etc. On the other hand, it is not so clear whether all these technologies that we are will be our salvation or our doom. But one thing is clear that these changes are coming, whether we like it or not. And these new technologies are more and more powerful than ever, which demand that people or organizations who control these tools to be more responsible, accountable for their uses and impact. Thus, it will make organizations like ITU to play an even more important role now and in the future. It will demand more engagement from its member states to, be, to help ensure a better future for all. As resources on our planets are becoming constrained, more constrained, and climate changes is becoming more apparent, cyberspace is taking more of our time from the real world, and cybersecurity and privacy is becoming ever more important. It is clear that these problems will impact everybody on the planet and will require that all states and government collaborate to help prepare and solve these global challenges together. Cambodia is still growing and has a long way to go, and we want to catch up, and we hope that technology will help Cambodia speed up our development and catch up with the rest of the world. 
and we are committed to, the de to develop the country in the right way and become a constructive force as a member of ITU and the global communities. And finally, I would like to thank the leadership of ITU who has provided tremendous support with our requests from policy advice to technical assistance. Cambodia is committed to be more engaged and, achieve, and to achieve the Connected 2020 goals and sustainable development goals. And, we, and as we always say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, we go together. And we wish everyone good health, happiness, and prosperity. And once again, congratulations to His Excellency Holden Zhao and Mr. Malcolm Johnson. And good luck to all the other candidates in the coming election. Thank you very much.